What do you mean by HCPN? Please unmute yourself and you answer. What do you mean by HCPN? First tell me you know HCPN, yes or no? Shweta? Yes, sir. Inactive substance. Inactive substance. Okay. Means these are the substances which are not having any pharmacological action. But without their presence, formulation is not going to be complete. For example, if you are going to prepare suspension, in, in that case, uh, suspension is what the solid particles are dispersed in a liquid particle, liquid phase. Okay. So the if the suspending agent is not added, the role of suspending agent is there just to increase the viscosity of the liquid because of which the solution become viscous and the solid particles are there that are easily dispersed in a liquid. So this is the role of the excipients. In case of the emulsion, when the oil phase is there, it should be mixed up with the water phase that are not to be mixed up with each other, but they are to be oily phase is dispersed in a aqueous phase or aqueous phase is dispersed in a oily phase. So the system is to be hold by a third one agent. We call it as excipients and these are nothing but if they were emulsifying agents are there. So these <coughs> excipients, are also having some of the standards. So what are these one standards that we see? First one is there, that is the drug. For example, we consider acacia. So uh, you must know the synonyms of the acacia, various names of the acacia in which builders. Acacia is there, it should be known by what name? Gum Acacia, Gum Arabica, uh, Acacia. Likewise, the synonyms of the drugs are there. Then, what is the biological source? It is an gummy exudation, which should be obtained from a plant species, Acacia Arabica. Okay. And then, its family, you know, then geographical source is also known to you. Okay. Then after that one, you must know the different type of the organoleptic characters. Organoleptic characters, it includes color, odor, taste, size, and shape. <clears throat> As it is a gummy exudation, an organized drug is there, means the plant organs are there that are not to be present. So what is the color of the <clears throat> Acacia is there when it is a fresh one, when it is a dried one, what are the changes are there that it should be offers in case of the color that information you must know. Then what is the smell? We can see that odor of the material is there, how it looks like. Then what is the taste of that one particular drug is there? What are the size? What are the tears are there? Uh, what size of the tears are there that is to be obtained? Just like that information you must know. Then shape of the drug is there that you must know. Likewise, the information uh, you know. Okay. Then the next one is there that is a microscopic characteristics. Uh, the by physical appearance is there. You can easily alter. You can easily make up that one, but so for that to have a purity to check the purity of the drug there is a need of the internal character so internal character you must know so in that case the powder characteristic is the one important uh, internal character is the, that you must know <coughs> then physical evaluation <coughs> Powder characteristics, uh, that means what is the particle size uh, is there here to be observed under the microscope if it is an unorganized screw drug. If it is an organized screw drug, then you must know the trichrome. 
cellular part is there what is the diameter is there starch grain calcium oxide crystals likewise the different type of the parameters are there that you have to check you have to check the size of that one particular drug likewise things are there that you must have to check okay microscopic uh, characteristic then powder characteristic is there then uh, physical chemical evaluation is the another one parameter is there that you must have to check that it includes the moisture content means whenever the drug is there you have taken then how much quantity of the moisture is there should be present in that one particular drug uh, depends on that you came to know that the drug is there is a pure one or impure one what is the nature how to preserve that one particular drug like with the various information you know by this one particular method okay and then extractive value is the another one parameter is there in case of the extractive value alcohol soluble extractive value is there then water soluble extractive value is there by this one experiment you came to know that what is the purity of the drug is there how much percentage of the active chemical components are there that are to be present in that one particular drug water soluble active components are there all uh, likewise all the information is there is to be present in that one particular drug then ash value uh, in case of this one ash value total ash is the one uh, is there means when you have to be incinerate that one particular quantity of the drug uh, on this one was also i have prepared a video just you have to go through this one particular videos also okay so the alcohol soluble extractive value is there ex then water soluble extractive value after that ash value is there in case of the ash value there is a total ash is the one suppose you are going to take the uh, 2 gram of the drug and you have to incinerate that one particular drug completely till the grayish white color matter is there is to be formed after that you have to take that one particular uh, weight so once you came to know that if you are going to take the 2 gram of the drug x amount of the ash you are getting if y if 100 gram of the drug you have taken then how much quantity of the ash you have got that is the percentage ash value is there then acid insoluble ash and water soluble ash these are the two parameters are there depends on this one you came to know that the how much quantity of the drug is there is to be present in a pure form how much quantity of the drug is there is to be present in a in pure form so acid uh, insoluble ash is there water soluble ash is there then sulfated ash is there that sulfated ash plays an important role that how much amount of the sulfur is there is or sulfur containing uh, materials are there that are to be present in case of this one particular drug likewise then refractive index is the refractive index that is to be calculated by using the abes refractometer and instrument is there by which you came to know that how much quantity of the how much quantity of that one particular uh, purity of the drug is there is to be present by this one abes refractometer you came to know that then swelling index if the drug is there that is a mucilage containing drug is there then what is the uh, how much quantity drug swell what is the volume of its swelling that information is there is to be obtained then foaming index is there this one uh, experiment is there is to be performed and the saponin containing drugs are there that are having this one uh, capacity to have a foam saponin containing glycosides are there this uh, glycosides are there that is having a uh, capacity to produce a foam uh, foam like how much quantity of the foam is there is to be produced <coughs> that is to be checked by this one particular activity that is a foaming index by this one experiment you came to know that how much quantity of the drug should be add into this one formulation that is the foaming index is there then polarization is there uh, whether the drug is there is a dextrorotatory or levorotatory 
it is the phase of the polarization with the then bulk density is there that is the that is also plays an important role uh, in case of this one density means how much quantity of the what drug is there is to be required by its volume you came to know that particular quantity of the drug that is a bulk density then for inorganic matter <coughs> How much quantity of the drug is there? It will be present in a pure form. How much quantity is there in the in pure form? That information there is you obtain by this one particular experiment. That is a foreign organic matter. Now, in case of this one, another one most important part is there. That is a physical chemical evaluation. In case of this one, physical chemical evaluation. Which type of the Active components are there that are to be present, means which are to be responsible for a particular pharmacological action. That information is there is obtained by this one. That is known as physical phytochemical evaluation. In that case, you came to know that there are the two types of the metabolites are there that are to be present. First one is there is known as a primary metabolite. Second one is there is known as Secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are there that includes your carbohydrates, then protein, lipids. Likewise, the <coughs> primary metabolites are there. These primary metabolites for carbohydrate, we are going to perform the molly stage. Uh, means sample solution plus uh, alpha naphthol plus alcohol is there, is to be added, mix it properly, and from the side of the tissue, we are going to add. Concentrated sulfuric acid at the junction of the two liquids, you are getting a violet color ring that indicates that the carbohydrates are there that are to be present. This test is there to perform for this one carbohydrate. In proteins are there for protein by your test, is there very type of the tests are there which are to be utilized for the detection of the protein. Then lipids. Or amino acid mean has been tested there that should perform for this one that is a proteins and the lipids are there. Then next one is there that is a secondary metabolite. After the utilization of the primary metabolite, the secondary metabolites are there that are produced. Means once the input is there uh, into the system, that input gives two type of the material one is a waste material and one is a useful material or we can say that the product the product uh, is there is not but the secondary metabolites are there that is to obtain these are not to be utilized by the plant body as such but to cure from the different type of the disease human being is utilizing that Secondary metabolites. This includes your alkaloid, glycoside, tannin, fluoride, steroids, somewhere the calcium oxalate crystals are there that is also present in case of this one. For the alkaloids, we have to, for alkaloids detection of the alkaloids, we have to prepare a dilute. Uh, acidic solution of the drugs and filter this one and to on the filter it we are going to perform the different type of the chemical taste which includes your mayor taste wagner taste hacker taste likewise the different type of the taste is there which are to be utilized which gives you a particular precipitation that indicate that the alcohols are there that are to be present then glycosides are there Tannins are there, fluorides are there, steroids are there, calcium oxide crystals are there, which are to be detected by utilizing the several chemical states. Okay, so after that one, once you have to perform this one chemical test, the next one is there, if the drug is there, is in a liquid form, so that there are the different types of the valuations are there that is we necessary depends on which you are going to came to know that the drug is there is a pure one or impure one 
so all these are the parameters are there such as your id value acid value ester value saponification value one saponifiable matters are there polinsky value is there like for the different type of the parameters are there you have to perform this one experiments on your sample and then you have to compare the value of this one sample with your standards the standard values are there that are to be given in your official book such as your indian pharmacopeia is there british pharmacopeia is there in that one the standard values are there that are to be given along with that one also the acidity index is there featured missile value is there polinsky value is there like for the different values are there that is also to be seen the next one is there that is the solubility is there means whether the drug is there it should be completely soluble for uh, soluble insoluble practically insoluble or completely insoluble like for the different type of the parameters are there that you have to check the solubility of that one particular drug then assay is the last one which is to be everywhere without the assay no one can complete the evaluation of the drug is there that assay that gives you the complete information regarding the drug how much quantity of the drug is there is to be present in that one particular means how much what is the purity of the drug is there that you have to be detected by an assay that there are the different type of the <coughs> assays are there there are the different type of the drugs are there for each and every one drug there are the different type of the assays are there which are to be performed and then the experiments are there that is to be performed so friends in this way the evaluation of the experience from the natural origin is completed hope Uh, all of you clear that one anyone have doubt if you are new to this one uh, channel I request you to subscribe my channel and you like to my this video okay any doubts regarding this one thank you yes any doubts